In the spirit of International Women's Day, I had the chance to sit down with three influential female broadcasters, Christine Simpson, Tara Sloan, and Ivanka Osmak, and hear all about their journey into this male-dominated industry. Christine, what positive changes have you seen in the industry for females since you first joined? Well, in the 20 years the, since I first joined, hard to believe, the biggest positive is that I'm just seeing more and more women doing this kind of work. More women involved in sports broadcasts of any kind. And even, you know, your broadcast, an all-female broadcast team doing an OHL game. The fact that there are women that can do all of the roles that it takes to, to provide an all-female broadcast team is, is so impressive. And then the more you see that, the more normal it becomes. So that's probably been, to me, one of the most positive things that I've seen. Has there ever been a specific obstacle for you where you felt, you know, you really had to rise to the occasion because of your gender? There have been challenges along the way from other women which might sound surprising, but it's kind of heartbreaking to hear that sometimes women don't have the best intentions for other women in the industry. We're supposed to be in this together and have each other's back. And that was such a wonderful thing when I started at Sportsnet back in 2007, is that Martine Guyard and Chris Simpson, they were here and they not only were so supportive and so welcoming and helped me out and kind of showed me the rose, but they're incredibly talented, witty, smart, accomplished women who still have tremendous careers and I, I look up to them and I consider them fantastic colleagues and also friends. I think a lot of the, the barriers are, they're a little more subtle. I don't think it's a matter of people being so outward about saying, you're a woman, you can't do this job. But there are just these subconscious biases that this entire culture hasn't quite gotten away from. In the past, I think we all just sort of put our heads down and do what we're told. And I think women in particular, we don't always stand up for ourselves. And I just feel more of a responsibility, not only to do that for myself, but to do that for other women that maybe don't have the confidence that just comes with being in this industry and with age, you know? And that's one beautiful thing of being, having done this for so long. I don't worry so much about what other people think and I'll speak my mind. When we look back at 2019, the All-Star Game. In the home stretch. 14.346. That iconic moment. What do you think it will mean for females? I mean, on the ice, I could hear the ceiling shattering. And when I saw what happened on, on social media, I was almost in tears. It was just so impactful. I don't know what it's going to mean. You know, I just think it's like a, it's a really slow process. And uh, sometimes when it comes to education and inclusiveness, people don't know what they don't know. I'm also now a teacher. And so I'm seeing this younger generation of females coming through. And I just hope that they see that there's more to this job, especially being in front of the camera, than the whole glamour side of things and makeup and hair and wardrobe, that it does take a lot of hard work. And yes, women are unfairly judged sometimes and um, criticized more so than our male counterparts. So there is a lot of hard work that goes into it. But I think I'm just letting them know that if you put that in, then you can accomplish anything. Changing the narrative, really. There's more to the story. I'm always there for the girls who who are looking to make that leap. Women supporting women. Gotta do it. What I also hope to see are more women in the executive offices. We're fortunate to have a lot of men who also support the idea of women doing non-traditional